Have you seen those videos of the epoxy river tables? What if epoxy is for cheaters? Can I use molten metal instead? Of course, it might start some fires, but I'll cross that bridge when it bursts into flames. I'm not the only one who's thought of this. There are some other artists slash furniture makers who have tried combining molten metal and wood. So in theory, it's possible, but what kind of wood can handle it? And uh, what metal should I use? Well, the common casting metals fall into a few uh, heat categories that I'm just making up right now. The low temperature ones like lead and zinc, uh, those are easy mode, forget those. Five or 600 degrees hotter or so is aluminum. Uh, it's a good place to start since those other examples, uh, they, they used aluminum. A few hundred degrees hotter yet, you get into like brasses, bronzes, silver, gold, copper, all the cool looking stuff. That might give you a hint where I'm trying to go with this. A few hundred degrees hotter yet, you get like cast iron and steel. Uh, I know from personal experience that cast iron will literally melt your face off. I don't really feel like doing that again. Uh, so maybe you'll start with aluminum. If any of these do like really well, I'll bump them up the rankings and do like a bronze test or something. So for wood, there's probably a lot of variation. There's like very resin rich conifers like pine that people use as fire starters. And then on the other end of the spectrum, there's like Brazilian walnut or Ipe, Ipe, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, that's supposedly fireproof. I seriously doubt that, but Sure. So clearly there's a lot of variation here. And since I can't find a list of like which woods are best at handling molten metal, I'm gonna have to figure that one out myself. So for this test, I took a handful of different wood species, scientifically selected by choosing what I had in my scrap pile, and cut them into roughly the same size. I got paddock, paddock, I don't know how to pronounce that. Pine, white oak, purple heart, alder, mahogany, soft maple, cherry, Brazilian cherry, hickory, and poplar. I rammed it up in sand next to a big honking channel for aluminum. I wanted a big channel of aluminum because I wanted it to be like a big thermal mass to really sit there and just burninate the wood, give it a good solid test, you know? Also, I could use a one by two to make the channel in the sand out of the same scrap pile. Hooray for laziness, e expediency. We'll go with expediency, right? That sounds better. Take a guess which one of these you think is gonna win. Seriously, take a guess, I'll wait. Now, if I were to try this on an actual project, I would probably minimize the amount of wood that I use. Some of those river tables use like a huge amount of epoxy. I would use like a tiny bit. I'm talking like filling cracks or voids or uh, just a tiny channel like through the middle if there are two live edges like pointing inward. But I think it would be fun anyway to try to accentuate the wood in something other than like brightly colored plastic. Plus you get the cool contrast between the wood and the metal and also you get the nice burn mark like where the two meet. There's plenty of opportunity. Just think like what would oiled bronze look like going through a walnut table or something. You know, it's cool. There's a lot of options here. If only I had used walnut. Huh. Next time. There's always next time. Predictably, there was lots of fire, but not as much as I thought. And that charred line going through the middle is not very thick. Seems like it could handle it, at least aluminum, pretty well. I also didn't expect all the oils to be coming out of a lot of this wood. Some of the wood potentially wasn't dry enough. That might be a problem. But some of the other pieces I've literally had kicking around for longer than I've been married. I've moved my scrap pile several times. Okay, first thing to look at, look at that shrinkage. That is quite a gap. Hmm. This is aluminum though, which has the worst shrinkage rate. Get that out of there. This part's irrelevant. It's the first casting video I think I've ever done where the casting itself is, you know, secondary. So I need to figure out a way to rank these. Uh, I first just looked at them, see how screwed up they looked. The burn mark kind of sunk into the wood. How far in had it sunk? I tried to figure that out. And then I did a thumbnail test. Poke your thumbnail into the charred bit. How easy is it to like make a dent? How deep can it go? Is the charred bit like styrofoam or is it still like solid wood? Some of them are still rock hard and some of them had the consistency of like a burned marshmallow, except they probably tasted better than a burned marshmallow. Slow roasting is the only way to do marshmallows. Slow heat all the way through until the whole thing's drooping like this on the end of the thing. That's the best marshmallow. I'm not gonna say prove me wrong, cause you can't. Mahogany, for example, is terrible. One of those chairs I showed you was mahogany aluminum, but mahogany, means a lot of things. There's many species that pretend to be mahogany and they're very different. They just kind of look generally similar. Since I got this one at Menards, it's probably the cheapest, dumpiest version of mahogany available. I did save big money though, so there's that. So mahogany, along with poplar, alder, and pine go in the don't bother list. Of all of those, poplar is probably the worst. A hardwood's the worst one, imagine that. Also, I hate poplar, just as a side note. That was kind of a marginal category. Purple Heart, Brazilian Cherry, Actual Cherry, Soft Maple, Paddock, whatever. That and Soft Maple are probably a little lower, but I have a couple of big winners. Number two, Hickory. Uh, my theory was it's a really tough wood. Maybe it can take a lot of heat. Turns out, yes, yes it can, but it did puke a bunch of blackness all over the place. The edge really holds up to the thumbnail really, really well. It looks pretty charred. It's still pretty tough. It's still a pretty tough edge. Number one, drum roll. You can already figure out by process of elimination, white oak. 
I did not expect this. You can see all of the grain still in the charred edge. It didn't really sink in all that much and it didn't belch any oil. There is some oil poking out one side, but that's from like the woods that were right next to it. Uh, but the side facing the sand is just charred. It's not even charred that bad. So definitely hickory and white oak move on to the brass round. If anyone has a wood species you think I missed that I should add in, uh, let me know. I should really add walnut too. I even have walnut, like over there. Why didn't I add that to the test?